Hello there guys, Coach Shell here, Dogs to Born, Bot Build for Theme Parks, and welcome to the final of the three uh, theme park prediction videos. This is from Merlin Entertainment, uh, five theme parks to predict, and uh, some very interesting alterations to these predictions. So, before we get started straight away, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another video. Make sure you go into the description down below for social media links, Google Forms to get your own video ideas in for the channel, and also... Uh, check out the uh, the community page because we'll always keep posting polls and any funny stuff going about and things like that So uh, stay tuned to the community page. You can keep interacting with other fans on the channel as well as myself uh, The discord server is also linked down there as well um, You can go be a part of the discord server. I'm going to update it as soon as possible So be a part of that and uh, for now guys Let's go into my Merlin Entertainment's predictions as of spring ready for 2022 season next year so first up, Alton Towers, and my early prediction was one of two things. It was either a major refurbishment of Nemesis, uh, with like new trains, retrack, additional storyline, any theming surrounding the ride, or a new CBeebies Land attraction to replace Nina's Science Lab and any additional paint ups around the park, including the CBeebies Land area. Now, I've gone with a completely new spring prediction for this park, and it's again one of two things, or potentially one of two things, or one thing. Now, one of them is a brand new show, uh, COVID-19 guidance in place provided, in the world of David Williams theatre space, and or, and or, uh, uh, the rebirth or return of Nemesis Subterra. We've seen loads of work taking place on this, uh, with staff around going through doors, you know, things like that. And I think this could be the return of Nemesis Subterra. And one theory I did point out, I think, in a previous video on this, I might not have done, but if I haven't, then I'll, I'll say it now. This will be a repeat of 2012 in a way, because 2012 brought us Nemesis Subterra and Ice Age 4D in the Cloud Cuckoo Land Theatre. 2022 could be a brand new show in the World David Williams Theatre, which was the Cloud Cuckoo Land Theatre, as well as the rebirth or return of Nemesis Subterra. So, you know, a bit of a repeat of 10 years ago, but uh, I'd be very excited with that. And that's what I'm sort of sticking with at the moment. But of course, you know, things can change within the next few months before the final prediction videos come out. Next up, Chessington World of Adventures. I fully expect 2022 to be a very, very slow um sort of you know quiet year in terms of new things maybe some new entertainment but of course the main thing is beginning the preparations for 2023 their massive new major new roller coaster their first new coaster in 17 years at the park since dragon's fury in 2004 and uh, 2023 is the year for chessington world adventures but 2022 i expect it to be very quiet uh, in terms of new attractions maybe some new entertainment around the park maybe some additional theming some extra tlc kind of generally an off year in terms of brand new rides and attractions if they do invent a brand new ride for 2022 i'd be very surprised but even if it's something small like a kid's ride or two that'd even be acceptable for 2022 as they begin work for their new coaster for 2023 uh, but chessington's year is 2023 that's the year to focus on but for 2022 i think it's just quietness and all preparing for that follow-up year next up gardaland and my early prediction was the launched intermid family dark coaster to replace ramesses the awakening the Awakening, I'm going to stick with that as my prediction. I think that Ramses will get a, a replacement inside. I think there's going to be some work done this summer, uh, hopefully to rip all that up. Uh, if it doesn't happen in 2022, I think that'll happen in 2023. And uh, instead for 2022, just some general paint-ups, TLC, and maybe some new entertainment like Chessington, I think will, will happen uh, next year. So maybe the Gardaland um, project where Ramses is could be 2023 as well. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that. Next up, Heidi Park. I predict it's an off year, and that's what I'm going to stick with. Uh, new entertainment, all things going on. I think the Maya Valley could be the focus for future years, 2023 or 2024. Um, maybe for a brand new roller coaster around that area uh, definitely some new coasts for the Merlin Entertainment's chain in the next few years but um, yeah I think that that could be the the, the focus for me uh, with with Hardy Park for 2022 just new entertainment and just general paint-ups around the park and generally just keep maintaining the theme park ready for uh, future investments around the 2024 mark maybe and finally Thought Park Resort obviously 2022 I expect some new event which is kind of what I predicted uh, in the early prediction with the off year uh, I expect a brand new event schedule um, maybe a new attraction potentially I mean I'd like to see some new attractions at Thought Park I think the Hopefully with COVID out of the way and the financial disappointment 
in brutal honesty of Darren Brown's ghost train a few years ago when that first opened. Maybe Thought Park will learn their lesson and they'll sort of go forward with it now and go full throttle and, you know, create these brand new attractions in, in year, year after year. Uh, but I think Thought Park maybe could be a coaster focus in a few years' time. It's just a case of when. Uh, but I, I think for 2022, it's just about focusing on the event, just getting all that done and just going for it full throttle. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is looking at the Million Entertainment's predictions for 2022 here in the springtime. Obviously, that's the last of the three. Uh, the final prediction video should be coming around June, July. So stay tuned around June, to July uh, for those ones. Uh, bef uh, I, hopefully before we hit August, because I want at least... You know, but I want at least to get the last ones out before the first of August, uh, so we can see over the the first of, between the first of August and when the announcements come out for Six Flags, etc. Um, you know what happens during that time, any new stuff that comes out. So should be a very hectic summer, but uh, very interesting indeed from the UK side of things. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for now, my name is Coast Chow, keep on the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrilltastic day. Thank <laughs> you.